Juan Abel, welcome to Wine Rink for the Cornell Hockey Red and White game. Of course, red representing the red of the Socialist Revolution, with white representing the white of either the White Russians or the House of Bourbon, depending on your historical preferences. Uh, it's been pretty even so far. I think red perhaps with a slight two edge. Of the game. Yeah, for all two minutes of the game, we're here with Chris and Eric. And uh, looking. Looking like a looking like a good season so far already two minutes in. Alright, first blood to white here at Lighter Ring, Neely cut more to Morris. And you can barely hear anything because the band is so loud. Anyway, Joe's here. Hi Joe. Alright, and it's one one. Just over a minute to go in the first period. And uh, Cornell has leveled it up. Christian Hilbrick for this first goal. Hillbridge. Uh, and Joe, any comments on that goal? He's like eight feet tall. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I'll get some more comments uh, at the end of the period. All right, we'll get some more. Joe, very short. So it's the first intermission of the red and white game here at Lionel Rink. And I'm here with Joe. Any comments on that first period? Sure. on the first period. Uh, fantastic goal by uh, the uh, white, no, red team. Red team. Uh, Hillbridge. The Hillbridge goal, yeah. Actually, it was Gunnivich who scored that. Uh, Are you sure? I'm 100% sure on that. That's what they announced. Okay. Uh, Some of us, I guess, haven't been paying as much attention this year. Anyway, it was a fantastic goal. Back motion. We're never going to see that kind of goal. for the first intermission. Score is Cornell 1, Cornell 1. And a great goal for White. Scored in the back post area. So the players seem to have shrunk during intermission. I don't know why. Maybe, I don't know. So do you think this could be a concern for Cornell going forward in the rest of the season? Yeah, I don't know how we're going to stack up against Union. If our players are half the size, I don't know, Coach Haver's going to have to work on that. But, Joe, don't you think they might have an advantage also in that their, their uh, lack of size might lead them to be able to sneak into caps that would otherwise not be available to avoid uh, high sex from the body? I think that could help Cornell out. But remember, it might help them to be smaller, more agile, but remember, one check and they're done for the season. That's, uh, that's uh, possibly frightening development here at Lighter Ring. so far since the, uh, since the streak. Right, we have some mixed developments here at the beginning of the second period of line. Fortunately, all the players seem to have grown back to normal size, which is uh, quite good for Cornell looking forward to the rest of the season. But uh, in a quite alarming uh, development for the Socialist Revolution, uh, goaltender Andy Isles has been sent to the penalty box for counter-revolutionary ideas. Uh, any comments on this, Joe? Uh, the Reds are going to have a tough time overcoming this, but you have to assume they know what they're doing. The revolution always marches forward. You betray the revolution, you're sent to the box, yes. and it just doesn't matter. You'll find somebody else. In fact, you probably got too powerful. That's what's in them in. Yes. The people must always reign supreme in the, in the glorious socialist revolution. A glorious success for the revolution as Emily Holt scores off of a penalty shot. Push one past Salem City. And Cornell leads again. The uh, enemies of the people have raised a white flag of surrender. At least their uh, their band seems to have done, although their actual forces are uh, not uh, of 
the same mind, shall we say. And it uh, looks like, uh, now it looks like uh, Stephanie Mark is in the gulag over there for the Red Sea. Uh, this is a, another alarming development for the revolution. They, they really must um, look to enforce a little more thought and discipline upon their uh, disciples, shall we say. You can't be uh, exiling your, your top commanders. But they must, you say. Joe, otherwise the, the people will be betrayed by counter-revolutionary thoughts. But either way, it's uh, quite alarming how the uh, how pervasive these counter-revolutionary activities seem to have become. Thirteen minutes to go in the second period. And a crushing blow for the glorious socialist revolution. Uh, White has tied it up. Uh, who scores her first goal on the line of ice.